What's up guys, Dan here with Vidartech. And today we're talking about home automation. So whether you're using apps that work with Google or Amazon or HomeKit, or even a collection of all of them, you probably have just a ton of apps on your phone to power them. Now we've got a device today that acts as a bridge for all of those apps and merges them all into one. That device is called Hoobs. I'm showing you what's in the box and helping you get it set up. Let's get into it. So Hoops is just software that can take all of your existing accessories, whether it's Ring, TP-Link, Chamberlain, Hue, or another brand, and merges them into one ecosystem. Now, since using Hoops, my home screen went from this to this. It's been really effective in reducing the clutter, merging all of my accessories into HomeKit so they work with Siri and the Home app. And in a lot of cases, I've actually found it more responsive than the standard app with things happening much quicker when I just ask Siri for it versus opening the other app. Now there's a digital version where you can pay what you want, download the software and load it into an existing Raspberry Pi. However, for the less technical users, you can simply buy the box that has it all pre-installed. The folks over at Hoobs were kind enough to lend me a Hoobs in a box unit so that I could show you how it works. So starting with what's in the box, you're gonna find a quick start guide, an ethernet cable, a power cord, and the hoops box. Now the installation process of Hoops in a Box is really simple. Just plug your box into internet using a wired ethernet cable, plug it into power, and then it automatically starts running. From there, you can go to any device that's on your local network and type in this address, hoobs.local, and that's gonna begin the setup process. Here you're gonna enter your credentials like your name, username, password, and then password again to get set up. Next, we're gonna hit create account. And then you're into your home screen. So here you're gonna see a QR code where you can add the device to HomeKit, a look at all of your processes that are running, the current weather, and then your device information here. To add Hoops to HomeKit, you're gonna to go to your home. You're gonna hit the plus button and add an accessory. From there, you're able to scan the code and that'll add it to your home. Next on the left, we have your list of available accessories. I currently have nothing set up because we just installed it, but you're gonna be able to see a list of your accessories and the rooms that they're in, and then you can map them to the correct room. Here we get a look at our log, and this gives us the last 500 processes that Hoobs has done. This isn't something you're gonna to need to dive into very often, but if you wanna see what's going on with Hoobs, you can always go to this screen and see the latest processes. Next, we've got our user account. So here you can add additional users to your Hoobs account if you want more than one. And then we have our plugins. So here you're gonna be able to search for your available plugins that you wanna add. Each plugin is gonna enable a specific service. So say you have a Ring camera, you're gonna install the Ring plugin. And next we have settings, which is gonna give us all of the standard settings for our Hoobs, as well as server settings and specific plugin settings will show up here as well. So Hoobs itself is actually fairly simple to use. They've made it really user-friendly for those who don't really know much about home automation or they're just diving into it. Now, there are some cases, depending on the plugins you use, where you need to dig a little bit into the code and it takes a little more work than just installing and logging in. Now, for those plugins, I would say stay tuned because I'm gonna be launching a bunch of tutorials on different plugins and how to install them and get them set up properly. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that. So leave a comment below if there's anything that you wanna see specifically for Hoobs. I'd be happy to do a video on it as well. Hit that like button because it tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. Thanks for watching you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.